Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch those ass, baby. I'm about to make a video while I'm cleaning my kitchen. My house. <laughs> I'm not doing anything in a good mood right now. I need to address something right quick. Hold on, give me a minute. Do not go anywhere. Stay right there. Give me a second. I'm gonna be right back. We put it on charge. Here's the comment right here. What somebody said on my YouTube. All right, y'all. Welcome back. What I want to address is everybody keep wanting the kids coming back or not. That's FYI. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, in this comment that I'm about to address, this comment says, "You always eating out. You don't never feed the kids like you supposed to. You always giving them pizza." And wonder if I'm gonna feed them like that when they get back. Why is my kids concerned to y'all? Y'all act like y'all had these kids, y'all push these kids out. I don't understand. If you come over to YouTube on my channel, yo, just support. Don't sit up here and act like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get up here and bash somebody every time you come on there. Now, the case with the children is they may not be coming back right now. They coming back, but they may not be coming back for a couple of months. You know, the situation they're gonna make is up to them. I can't address that on social media. But I hate when people get up there and be like, oh, you're not this and that and the third. You eating big meals every day. What about your kids? All you worry about is eating. What? First of all, I was pregnant when I was eating big meals like that. And third of all, I make money. You know what I'm saying? I'm a YouTube. I'm in partnership with YouTube. So I make money. I can do what I want to do with my money. If my kids are not here and I'm eating, that's because I'm hungry. I mean, but damn, you ain't got to get up on YouTube and bash me. Now, let me um, address something right quick. The story I just read on, um, well, my daughter just told me about on Instagram about the mother, yo, that thing touched my heart because I'm in a situation to where CPS stepped into my home without a court order, took my children because false allegations on the internet for TikTok and whatever else apps they have. You got a case that's in Texas, right? That sit up here and this girl, it was a girl and a boy in it. I think it was twin girls probably. They ran away because they were being abused. And you mean to tell me this? Somebody told me on TikTok from minutes ago they put them back in the home with the mother. So where is CPS? Every state is different with CPS, though. Every state is different. Every state is not. That's the same. not fair to them. It's not fair to them if they put them back in the home because they might wind up killing them girls, man. Yeah, they got out, but they put them back. That's crazy, and, that, and that, my heart goes out because I'm in a situation where CPS is involved in my life, and my children are taken out the home because of false allegations. So what about their situation? They in a situation to where they're they being abused by their mother. And they ran away for safety. And you mean to tell me y'all gonna put them back in the home? Man, that thing hit home for me. Because ain't no ain't no child deserve to go through that. I don't know how old the girls are. 16. Oh, well, they 16. If they was 18, they would've been good. 16 years old. But it's the fact that they got out and they put them back. That's crazy. They 16 years old. Now they now they gotta, they probably gonna die in the hands of their mother now. Cause they ran away. And that's the crazy part about the whole situation. I hate to say that. But it is crazy, yo. The way this world's set up and it's so cruel. And these girls out here ran away for their life and for their safety. And they're going to put them back in the care with them. Some people say it's two sides to a story is what they're trying to say. They're trying to say it ain't the mother's fault, it's the kid's fault. I don't know what's going on in that in that that on that behalf. But my heart goes out to the girls if they are being the abused in that household. If they are being abused in that household, it is sad, yo. Don't mind, Hold on, y'all. Let me turn my volume down on this phone. It is sad, but like I was saying on my behalf with my children, yeah, everybody will know when the kids coming back. It's going to be a while before they come back because of the situation, but at the end of the day, I didn't do nothing wrong to hurt my children. My children got nothing but love in this household. And I tell a lot of people to come over and support me and watch my channel, you know what I'm saying? I only do nothing but do family videos and try to show my life out here in the world. And that's all I do. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, 
I can't show the world everything that I do because the world out here, they people are against you, not they're not with you. So that's the reason why I be like, you know, if you coming over to support me, come over and support me. Not sit up here and bash me about things that I do. But on the time that the kids are not here, I am handling things that I have to handle in the household for the children. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my job, my responsibility. But I just want to do, I really want to do more family orientation videos so out here in the world, you know what I'm saying, with their father and with the godmother, and I know they're ready to come home. You know, I can feel when my kids are going through something, and I can feel when they are hurt. And to be honest about the whole situation, I cry many days and nights on my pillow asking the Lord to bring my kids home. And every time I'm around Nana, she always crying. But this, this, this story that's all over the internet now is hitting home for me because I'm like, damn. When I was 17 years old, living with my grandma, I was going through some of the same things them girls was going through. But during that time, they didn't have no DSS call and all that stuff like that. And I ran away when I was 17 to Houston, Texas, and it never came back because I was being abused. And I've been through so much in my life, I believe those girls are being abused. Because they wouldn't run away for nothing. But I'm hoping and praying that they did not put them girls back in that house with their mom. Because that mom probably really going to tear their ass up now. But anyways, I'm praying for the family on that on that behalf. And, you know, I'm doing what I got to do in my house to take care of my responsibility for my children to come back home. And if I be eating out and all that stuff ain't got nothing to do with nobody. If you don't want to see me eating, then just continue on going about your business and doing what you're doing. You ain't got to like, you ain't got to comment, you ain't got to subscribe. I just do me every day and... You know, I try to get out here and hustle hard to make sure these bills are being paid because the lights got to be paid and the kids got to eat and the kids got to be well, proper taken care of like they was before they left. And I have a lot of people that have negative comments against me. Like they be saying some crazy stuff and I don't let that stuff get to me. I just keep it scrolling and just block them out and just say, Lord, just take care of that and heal that because people just weird. They don't want to see you happy at all. Family not even around. When the person I got around me right now is not here, and that's the only person that's holding me down because I'm like suffering right now because I'm not having the love that I want and need for my children. And um, all I can do is just really do what I need to do to make sure I survive in this world and handle what I got to handle while they're gone. And just still look at the pictures on the walls and talk to the pictures on the walls and be like, y'all will be home soon. Mama love y'all. Good night. I be talking to myself all the time because I'm not used to a quiet house. I'm not used to hearing the creeps of the house or Becky running around my little ghost in here. I'm used to hearing my footsteps of my children running around screaming and crying and when I'm on it. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> All I hear is some tiptoe behind me, and I ain't know who it was. That was the shrimp. Um, but well, anyways, I'm used to my children being here. I'm not used to them not being home with me. But you know, God got a plan. They, they gonna be back home soon, sooner than I think. You know what I'm saying? Just hoping that this caseworker that's on the case now can understand my situation and what I'm going through with the social media. You know, when you try to have something in the world, you can't have it because. The world trying to take it away from you, you know? And that's the crazy part of it all. I gave life to 10 beautiful children. I ain't never been in a situation like this before. And I'm asking the Lord to heal me and heal my children because I know they hurting right now. And I know they want to be home. Got phones here waiting on the boys. And I look at these phones every day in this one little bag. Every day I look at this one little bag like, oh my God, can I ever get this to the boys? Can they ever come home? You know, but I'm handling what I got to handle while they're gone. And that's that. Morning. But anyways, y'all, y'all keep y'all continue on coming over to show some support and some love to my channel. And again, like I said, with these negative comments that's coming in, um, underneath, underneath my YouTube channel, I will block you, and I will not respond. But I had to respond to this because it, just because I'm eating out does not mean I'm not handling my priorities. You see my light still on? You see I still inside of I still got a roof over my head. That means I'm handling my business. And I can do what I want to do with my money. Nobody controls my money. I'm grown. I'm a big girl. I'm strong. I know what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't like me eating and all oh, well, just keep see I still inside of I still got a roof over my head. That means I'm handling my business. And I can do what I want to do with my money. Nobody controls my money. I'm grown. I'm a big girl. I'm strong. I know what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't like me eating and oh well, just keep scrolling. 
at the end of the day, all my true supporters, all my real supporters, will support a real supporter. And I love you guys. On to one spent me in my shoes, just letting y'all know. The update on the kids is that they're gonna be gone for a while. And um I'm not worried, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, watch those ads. Thank y'all for showing so much support to my channel. Peace.